Welcome back YouTube family. Today I would like to take you on a journey through Montessori language and we're going to be learning about a material from early grammar called the singular and the plural box. Those of you who've watched our language videos will remember that in early grammar we are still using words that are completely phonetic if you haven't yet watched our videos, I'm going to link them above and I'm also going to put the links in our description box. They're very, very helpful. Do give them a watch. Now in this material, we are working with nouns and we are following the simple rule of adding S to a word to make it into a plural. It's a brilliant activity because it's a hands-on way of showing children how we create plurals and they work with objects as well as working with the word tags so they're practicing their reading. What's great about this material is that it is so easy for you to make at home. All you need are some small objects, a little black box and the word tags. Now you might ask why a black box? Why can't I just use any color box? Why can't I use any color cards? Now in Montessori language we have very specific color coding. Nouns are depicted by the color black and we have different colors for adjectives, verbs, prepositions and so on. And this carries on into primary school as well, into elementary for the children. In fact, on a side note, we have a brilliant program for elementary language, teaching your child about speech parts and how to construct and deconstruct sentences. And I'm going to link that for you here. It's a great, it's a short course. You don't have any assignments to do. You're watching videos and you're learning along as we teach you. I loved it when I did it. I'm sure you will too. So back to this material. When you are creating this material, keep in mind, like I said, everything must be phonetic. So we have got to uh, stick with the sounds as per the phonics song. We can use any amount of letters. The words can be from the pink or the blue series but always remember they must be phonetic because the children haven't learned any phonograms or diagraphs yet. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to be working on this material with my niece, Anna. I hope you enjoy it. Hi, Anna. Hi. Today, I want to teach you something new, okay? Do you remember what a noun is? Mm -hmm. Like persons mm -hmm. and like a thing and like some animal. Right. It's the name of people, places, animals, things. Okay. Now, this word I learned is... about it in school. You did. Okay. This is singular. Yes. Singular means only one. Can More than a one. Singular is one. Can you say singular? Singular. This is plural. Plural, plural means more, more than one. That's right. Can you say plural? Plural. Okay. Now, can you read this for me? Hat. Can you put it under the singular card? Because it's more than one. Because it's singular. Singular is one. Now, can you look in this box and find one hat? and put it here. So, Anna, if I have more than one hat, I would have many? Uh, mm. How do we say more than one hat? Many. Many what? Hats. That's right. Now, can you go through these cards and find the word for me that says hats? Can you find it? Is it where the, the S Mm -hmm. Can you read it? Hats. Can you put it in the plural column? Cool. And put all the remaining hats over here that you can find from your box. Can you put it here? Mm -hmm. Can you put them here? Read. Let's read, okay? Can you read? Hat. Hat. Okay. Can you read this word? 
pig. Can you put it in the singular column? The card first. And can you put one peg over here? It's a teeny tiny peg, so it can fit in a box. Can you put it here? Okay. Now, if I have more than one peg, I would have many? Uh, many, many, many uh, uh, pegs. That's right. Can you go through this stack of cards and find the word that says, the word card that says pegs? Can you put it in the plural column? Okay. Now, can you find all the remaining pegs and put them here? Let me move some things for you so you can see. Is that it? Let's put them here. And let's read together, okay? Can you read for me? Okay. Can you read this word? Bug. Try again. Bud. Bud. Can you put it here? In the singular What's column? A bud? a bud is a tiny flower. Can you find a bud and place it here? All right. Now, if I have more than one bud, I would have many buds. Can you find that word? Bud. Can you buds. read it? Let's put it in the plural bud. column and put all your remaining buds there. Can you read for me? Bud. Buds. Okay. Can you read this word? Sit. City. Coat. Still. 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 Can you put it in the singular column? Now, how would we say if I have more than one stick? I have many? A, a sticks. Right. Can you find that word card? Sticks. Okay, let's put it in the plural column. And can you put all the remaining sticks here? Okay, let's read it, please. Sticks, stick, sticks. Okay, let's put this here. One more peg. Uh oh. All right, can you read this word for me? Stump. Try again. Stump. Stump. Can you put it in the singular column? Can you put one stamp here? Now, how do we say if we have more than this, one stamp? Is this a picture of a stamp? It's a real stamp. Okay. How do we work it? You stick it on a letter when you're posting it. Can I... Do we have a letter? No, we can do that at home. How would we say if I have more than one stamp? A stamps. Can you find that card for me? Uh, stamps. Can you put it in the plural column? And put all your stamps there. Can you read for me? Stamp. Stamps. Okay. Do you know what this word is? A uh, button. Can you put it here? And put one button there. Now how do we say if we have more than one button? Uh, button. Mm. Right. Is this the correct word? Can you read? Yes. Can you read it? Buttons. All right. Can you put all your remaining buttons here? 
Okay, let's read it. Button. Buttons. Now we're going to read from the beginning, okay? Hat. Hats. Pig. Pigs. Bud. Buds. Sticks. Stick. Sick. Sticks. Stamp. Stamps. Button. Button. So Anna, today you've worked with the singular and plural box. If you want to take this again, you can do it on your own, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's tidy up, okay? Wasn't that fun and easy? Something so simple for you to put together at home. Doesn't cost too much. You can probably find the things at home as well. If you're wondering about the size of the cards, you can work with a card that's about uh, five by five inches square. That works really well. Um, you can you know, either print it out or you can even use a white gel pen to write your words. Um, do share your thoughts on how successful you were and I would love to know what you would like to learn more about. Which materials are you keen to learn about and I'll be back to teach you some more. So leave your comments in the box, like, subscribe so that you keep getting notifications of our videos and until we meet again, have a beautiful day.